morning guys so we are in the park it's just now half past eight the weather is quite nice just turn around okay so today i decided to take you to park just because my as i said in previous video my leveling up journey is also about losing weight and being more healthy and part of this is also going for walks so not really a fan i was never really a fan of running or gym but i really enjoy walking so i'm trying to do as much as i can and obviously it's very good for uh, little peter I'm just going to show you I'm just going to show you just put the brake okay so that's what we have this is not stunning the water and you know this calming sound of river this is all what it's like about here. Yeah? Okay, let's go. Say, so, as you could see on the previous um, clips, I uh, we just woke up about six o'clock. That's normally the time when he's waking up for second feet over the night. First time is about two o'clock, and then we have uh, six o'clock, five o'clock. <clears throat> when he wake up five, I still go sleep. When he wake up six, I don't really bother you know because he's going to sleep for one hour and for me going to sleep for one hour I'm going to feel even worse after that so for me it's like minimum I need to sleep two hours to feel better so just wash my face put some cream took um, a tea with me because I drink uh, I drank coffee already when I woke up at six and um, yeah so he went sleep for another one hour and then um, I saw that the weather it's actually quite nice. Yesterday I checked and it was saying that it's going to rain so I didn't really plan to go to park but uh, obviously it's not raining yet so it's great. If you're living in Scotland you can you probably know that the weather here can be really tricky. So we're trying to use it as much as possible with going out even now, when it's a period when you shouldn't really visit your friends and family, we absolutely understand that. But in UK, you can still go for a walk once a day or walk or jogging, whatever you like to do. Booba! Booba! Booba? Booba? You see Booba? Dog? This is Booba! Boo! <laughs> okay, ladies, so let's start with subject of this video. So first reason why would you be in the park is because you're going there for a sport. You're going to there either for a walk, you're going there for a run. It's just something which is going to make you sweaty in some way. Second approach is more elegant, walk, and it's about going to walk in the park, but more like a relax, more chill, um, slowly movement. Good morning, ladies. This is second day, which is basically the next day. <laughs> Today is really, really nice weather. So I wanted to show you uh, another approach for walking. So yesterday I focused on telling you about when you actually choose a walking as an activity. So it's from your healthy benefits and uh, more to sweat. 
Today I uh, decided to go for a walk um, a little bit later, so it's already about 10 o'clock and um, today is the second approach so today i already have my makeup i um, have i'm already i'm wearing completely different so i'm wearing my pink trench and i'm going to show you later on with my pink leather trainers from lacoste so yeah so to, today chilling very slow walk relaxing yeah that's what is life about yeah so you need to choose when you wake up in the morning what kind of day is uh, is it going to be you know is it going to be more relaxing day for you or are you feeling up to it and you're going to really go for a hard maybe hill walking this is all about your mindset you don't want to go for a very hard walk if you feel like you just just don't feel yourself today or something like this so again, being a smart about how you feel is going to help you motivate yourself because if you feel like you always need to go for a strong walk because I'm not going to lose weight or I'm not going to feel good about myself, don't do that because you're going to lose motivation and eventually you're going to stop going for any walks. So if you feel like you just want to go for 10 minutes, even 10 minutes, 15 minutes walk, maybe look a little bit more elegant, then do it. You don't need to run every day, you don't need to sweat every day like crazy. Any um, activity daily, it's going to reflect on your body. Obviously, after a while, you're going to see progress. So every single time you decide to actually go somewhere, think what is the reason behind it. When you're going for a romantic walk, you want to look like this. When you're going for like a very very um, sweaty walk, you're going you're going to look like this. So do you see the difference? Another thing about walking when you are more elegant, I still would keep it a little bit more casual, elegant. I wouldn't go too far. For example, earrings like a very elegant earrings, I wouldn't do that. Um, you can wear a watch, obviously, watch is like everyday accessory. A bag if you want, not something very, very fancy, just like keep this kind of like a look casual elegance. Don't go crazy, you know. Another thing what we need to remember is that um, being elegant is also being a smart. So we are wearing for the occasion. We don't want to wear something... Um, very elegant to park. We want to still wear casual, but with uh, this kind of maybe romantic sense. If it's a winter, then obviously we will put some nice coat. And maybe some kind of uh, boots. The same for a sport. If you're going to park for some activity, then you don't want to be overdressed because this is just not going to look good. The trick is to find a balance and always remember to have this kind of being smart about what we're wearing.